fun day welcome back to a new vlog this morning i have literally just gotten some makeup on i've had some deliveries arrive which i will take you through in a minute i'm basically stuck inside all day today waiting for deliveries because i missed them at the weekend <laughs> so annoying literally i went out for half an hour and missed every single delivery so they're all coming today but basically the delivery men are holding me captive in my house so yeah i've not really managed to do a lot this morning I've had a coffee which i'm now regretting because i'll talk to you about that in a second but skin skin stuff oh i've ordered some paint because we're gonna get a bit painty in the garden this week hopefully the weather is looking quite good so i'm hoping that the i'm looking at the fence which is why i'm not looking at you i'm hoping that i'll be able to do the fence and the wall this week if not i say fence gate i'm definitely going to do the gate i'm committed to the gate now i've picked a color color you know me it's, it's slightly neutral. I really hope that it's a decent colour. You know when you're ordering online and you're like, this could be interesting. Yeah, so that is going to be going down in the garden this week. We're going to have some okay-ish weather, so I feel like it's the perfect time to get out there and do that. So hopefully that will be arriving tomorrow. I'm wearing a heat dress today from H&M. I've just spilt toothpaste down it, so I'm probably going to have to change. I'm really annoyed about it. My toothpaste is pink as well, so you wouldn't think it would be too problematic, but my toothpaste is bright pink, which is so annoying. But yeah. It's Monday, it's a fresh week. I had the worst week last week. Um, I did vlog, but I was really trying to like hold it all back from the vlog, but I really can't remember it. I think I was fine, <laughs> but really my life felt like it was crumbling into a million pieces off camera and that was just really, really difficult. So yeah, fresh week this week, positive vibes. <laughs> just gonna fill our life with positive things and hope that it like brings more positive stuff because I don't want to repeat last week again anytime soon. It was honestly the worst week. Does that mean the delivery is here? Let's see. Someone saw the DPD bang, go by. It's not for us, babe. That one's not for us today. To carry on my story before I was rudely interrupted by this one. Yeah, last week sucked, so bad. So, fresh week, positive vibes. Skin update. The condition of my skin, like the congestion, has got a hundred times better since I just like stripped back my skincare. So I've literally been using the same four products every day for about, I wanna say nearly two weeks now. And the congestion is much better and lots of the littler breakouts are getting better and lots of like the breakouts that I have around here, like they're, they're gone. My forehead is clearing up, which is amazing. But I woke up this morning with this giant friend on my face. I've got a little one down here. And then I've also got a small one here that's just kind of like not come to a bump, but it's causing like a lump. And it's on that bit of my cheek where my pores show quite a lot. So it just looks, it just looks awful. So it is bugging me because at least with these spots, I can kind of just, I don't know, they're smooth, but this one is not smooth. It's like a bumpy little thing. And I've been carrying on with my skin diary. So I'm keeping it down to, I had one tiny dough ball that had a tiny amount of cheese in it. It could have been that. And I was prepared one when I was putting the dough ball in my mouth. I was like, you might have spots tomorrow or coffee but those are literally the only two things i've had so as much as it is annoying that my skin is still like not quite there i feel like i'm getting there with like narrowing down the causes of my blemishes because i'm literally stripping everything back and as disheartening as it is when you're like stripping things out of your diet that you really really enjoy and your skin still is a little bit sucky it is helping me narrow down my causes i do think stripping a lot of like the more artificially types of things out of my diet has been great for my skin anyway like the condition of it without makeup still looks so great i really want to nail the cause of these spots so yeah that is where we are at with the skin update so i'm literally just gonna go completely like if it doesn't come out of the ground or doesn't come out of the sea because i love fish i'm not putting it in my body so we'll see how we get on i mean i say that i had a coffee this morning and halfway through i was like damn it <laughs> so yeah ryan has actually taken the coffee machine back to his now so for those of you that hated the coffee montage i hope you're happy because it's gone the coffee machine is gone i think we might have various montages from now on potentially smoothie montages if i'm uh, going down the culinary root sad times but i think it's for the best and we'll see if coffee is in fact the bringer of spots i don't think it is but we'll see because i actually started having proper coffee around the time i met ryan and that was around the time that my skin got really bad so or it's him maybe i should get rid of him <laughs> yeah that is um my little life update because i haven't seen you in like a whole 24 hours it's been wild. And do you remember me telling you guys about the order I did from Zara Home? This is my Zara Home order. I know. I know. 
So I'm going to unbox all of this this morning. There may also be a H&M Home order coming. I'm not 100%. You know when you get that message that is like, your order's out for delivery, and you know with H&M that that is code for. Your order is basically on your doorstep. So hopefully that will arrive today. And then I also have a lampshade for up here, which I thought I would give a go. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That was going to be the last thing that I put up here. I've decided to take a chance, and uh, we'll see. It might not be right, but I'm just going to give it a go. I just... <laughs> I just get sick of looking at that. Like, that is so sad. And then I also have my lampshades for up here that should be one of these boxes, which I'm very excited about. So in the meantime, whilst I wait for those deliveries, let's unbox this. looks worse than it is some of these things have to be packaged quite bulkily but hopefully we will fly through this okay so first up we have a little pot that i'm really excited to open because i'm just obsessed with little like i want to say stone effect like they don't even need to be like proper stone but like stony kind of pots that look very very rustic and i love this so this is all zara home i absolutely love this i wish it also had like a bigger counterpart like i think it would be amazing to have like a really huge one of these maybe for my lemon tree if it needs to come indoors in the winter those people are like oh you might want to be careful because you might have to bring it indoors i'm like ha do i want a tree in my house that'd be so cool but yeah this pot definitely isn't putting the lemon tree in but it is so pretty like it's a proper actual like stony effect so that's what it looks like on the inside it's like proper it feels really rough on the outside and like actually like it's weighty it's it doesn't feel like you know when you get kind of like fake stony things yeah i just love it i think it's so cool but it will really work with so many other things that i picked up along with that from zara home i also got this throw which i thought would work brilliantly both in the living room and also in my bedroom it'll probably go in my bedroom for the time being but i think when i switch the sofa out eventually because that won't be happening for a really long time but i think when i do eventually get round to that this will look really cute thrown over it and it's a nice like it's not white, it's not like a cream, like a yellowy cream. So I think it will work really, really nicely with a light colored sofa. And yeah, I just love it. I love the texture as well. It's like kind of like knitted and woven, but it's not like waffly. I should probably do pricing if I can. This was 16 pounds, 15.99. And this has been covered up, but I will link to everything in the info box. Then we have, so two of these boxes have lampshades in them, which I purchased for the hallway. I'm so excited for these to go up because that means my hallway is like really nearly there and then there's just a few tweaks that I'll probably make later down the line but that don't need to be done right now. I mean the hallway didn't really need to be done straight away anyway but I thought whilst like it was quite an easy spruce if that makes sense so I thought seeing as it was quite easy and inexpensive to polish off I might as well have one area that is done because the whole house is just like an ongoing process so if i can kind of just have one area that feels a bit more done then that's great feels like christmas <laughs> so these are the lamps that i've picked up for the hallway i really like them i think they're so cute i just thought this would go really nicely because obviously the walls are white the flooring is wood got some white frames up and i thought these would go nicely with the flooring it helps to warm the space up nicely rather than go for something white which then makes it look a lot more like very clean and cold whereas i find wood is quite a homey warming kind of vibe so i thought these were perfect for the hallway i'm definitely very much more into woods and stones than i originally thought i'd be i think that's because i decided that i really like having like clear floors and white walls and actually i think wood and stone helps to warm it up a little bit more they just feel like a much more warmer twist on your traditional like everything being super white like scandy vibes i think it's just like a nice variation on that kind of like all white walls kind of vibe so i've got two of those in the interest of time i'm not going to unbox the other one i'll do that in a minute when i'm not on camera batteries flashing on red and here i am 
I'm wrapping paper. Then we have a couple of lamps that I picked up. This one I love. It's just very cute, very neutral, but we've got this nice natural effect around the base and I really love that. So we're gonna have to try and bend this lampshade back into place a little bit. But I also picked up this stone lamp, which I just love. I think this one will work really beautifully in a number of rooms in the house, but the intended room for it is the living room. It's a shame that this lampshade has taken a bit of a battering, but like I said, hopefully it will bend back into shape. But yeah, it's gorgeous. I love the different like colors. I feel like it's really popping on my viewfinder. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it once this is up on YouTube, but I feel like you can really see all of the different like stony tones coming through in the viewfinder, but it's not so apparent like in real life. But yeah, I think it's a really gorgeous like neutral stony effect lamp. So lots of lighting so far. Lighting has been something I've just found really, really hard to get right. I feel like I'm quite fussy with it. So I saw those bits and I was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna pick them up. I also picked up this hat because I really liked it. I've just got a bit of a thing about hats at the moment. So when I see a hat that I like, I pick it up. So I'm gonna show you the big box now. I'm gonna have to kind of take you over to it and then we'll get it all set up and I'll kind of like sort it out. But in here, we have, this is a bench. So my intended placement for it is here just to fill, I've got a huge white wall here. So a lot of space to play with, even with the door, like there's so much space. I'm gonna have to like insert some inspo picks cause I'm still kind of deciding on this area. But if I decide to not utilize this space here, then this might actually stay in the living room. However, I feel like if I do build something around here, it maybe might not. It all depends and depends on what I decide to do with the TV as well. This isn't like a permanent situation. Oh, watching Orange is the New Black, by the way. This isn't a permanent situation, which is why it just looks a bit of a mess. That actually used to be my old coffee table like two properties ago, and it just kind of works quite well as a um, TV stand. But it's never been a permanent solution. It's always just been my like in between. But until I decide what I'm doing, I was like, do you know what? I could take another year to make a decision. And actually, I think this would be a really great piece for my home, not just in the short term, but in the long term. There are so many places that this could live. There's, I've thought of literally like a million places I wanna put this already. So you might find that it moves around, but yeah, I'm gonna get it out of the box now. Hopefully it's all good underneath there and we'll pop it right here. This is what it is looking like right now. I started off with the stone lamp. I've actually swapped it out for the, what would you call this? Like the woven one, purely because it has a little bit more height. I would love to have a set of four big frames that are fully square with black framing and black and white photos above this. I think that would look so cool. And it ties in nicely with like the black that I've styled on the bench. Though I would say this corner here could also look really cool with this. In it. I just think this fills this space really well. It could be bigger, honestly. Like I did think it might come off a little bit bigger than this. This space is just so huge, if I'm honest, but it still does leave me a good amount of space to play with either side with other things like plants and stuff. This works really nicely with the plan that I had for this wall, which was the set of four frames. So I'm gonna see how I get on with this. But like I said, I think it would also work beautifully once my wardrobe room is set up, it would just kind of add a little bit more detail in there because I think it's gonna be, as I've said in previous videos, a very plain room, but this would also work really nicely with my plans for the office and could also work nicely with the bedroom depending on what I decide to do with that long-term. And if I were to ever redo the kitchen, it could also work really beautifully in there. So basically this bench is gonna have a long, happy life with me. I'm very excited about this. I need to find a little wee plant for that. So a trip to the garden centre might be in order. So basically, I can't remember if I've told you this. So I'm thinking about maybe, potentially, but it's getting more likely as the days go by, thinking about keeping the greenhouse. <laughs> so I've got to the point in my kitchen where I don't really want my windowsill to be full of herbs and vegetables. I just don't really want that in my kitchen all the time. And now with the whole lemon tree falling over situation happening, which the greenhouse won't help with, because although so many of you say put the lemon tree in the greenhouse, it won't actually fit. The greenhouse is not that tall, sadly. And I would have to like really trim it back to get it 
in there and I don't really want to do that but my grapevines haven't really taken to the wall yet they probably will long term if I leave them but I don't know how they're going to fare in the winter I would also love to get some other fruit trees and I don't know how my fig tree is going to fare in the winter basically I want to grow loads of fruit and vegetables in my garden but I actually think I'm going to have a better success rate if I keep the potentially this is the potentially maybe i am going to talk to a friend mike who's doing the garden and talk to him about instead of shipping out the greenhouse we're going to look into maybe sprucing it up a little bit i don't know if that's going to be possible if it's not i don't really know what i'm going to do but i'm hoping it's spruceable and he can maybe just clear it out lots of you have said like serious just get in there and just like you know clear it and blah blah i'm not dealing with those spiders that i will happily pay for someone else to do like i'm happy to save up the money <laughs> and make that someone else's job because i can't with spiders so many people have said you should keep it and when i kind of said to people over the past like week i'm thinking of maybe keeping it because i'll have a better success rate they were like yeah Duh. And I'm like, okay, right, set everyone up. Thought I was an idiot. And no one tells me these things. <laughs> so moral of the story is I don't want to put my herbs in nice pots because I don't want this 16 pound pot living in a greenhouse. So yeah, I'm excited about that. I think it's gonna be great. I can grow so many fruit trees. Like I really, if I can have fruit trees that can be moved into there in the winter, that would be great. Cause I am gonna worry so much about the lemon tree if it doesn't come inside. I think it's gonna come inside. If I can find like a nice pot that goes in here, it could literally live right there so yeah those are my thoughts for the afternoon i just want to grow some tomatoes in my garden honestly i snack on tomatoes so much that has been the aim from day one is can i stop buying tomatoes from the supermarket and can i just grow them in my garden so i'm really excited about that so we'll see how that goes okay folks parcel number two has arrived how am i carrying this like this you ask it's actually not very heavy okay so in here is a light for the living room. I know I said literally in the last vlog that it would probably be the last thing to get done, but I decided to take a chance and go for something softer than I was originally thinking. And by softer, I mean more like rattan, like woven -y vibes, which is something that I was initially trying to steer away from, even though I love like the Ibiza apartment vibes. And that was definitely what I wanted to go for. That wasn't what I necessarily wanted to go hard on. And I've really tried to steer away from it with the majority of furnishings and accessories and details in the house. However, I kind of resigned myself to the fact that I was just not going to be happy with anything else and also with the addition of the shutters to this room this was pretty much the best option and i went for something that's a bit more rustic-y hopefully <laughs> hopefully in person it's great instead of like super like tightly neatly woven like this so it's going to be a slightly different vibe to the hallway molding i'll put a picture of what it is meant to look like here but these wicker things i think have got a bit kind of like messed up in transit so i think it's going to take a little bit of molding on my part to get it into place but i wanted to give this a go fingers crossed because it's quite an easy one to install that it will work out but if not it wasn't bank breakingly expensive compared to a lot of the other like wicker rattan rustic-y kind of lights that i was looking at so i thought i would give it a go so let's pray for Suze. i have a lot of cardboard to break down now so i'm gonna leave you with this lovely shot my new bench and yeah i need to break this down i've got my evening walk to take nala on and i need to upload tonight's video which i keep forgetting about so if monday's video was late i'm so sorry it's because i'm an airhead apparently keep forgetting it's monday but i am going to be back with you tomorrow and hopefully the cardboard will not
today it is tuesday <laughs> very nearly forgot the day then today i'm wearing a classic zara body with my and other stories linen shorts and a pair of slippers from asos today i am feeling pretty rough i tried to go without coffee this morning it was a bad idea i've now made myself the world's crappiest little cup of coffee i haven't taste tested it yet so it could be disgusting but yeah trying to just go cold turkey coffee for some reason didn't happen today some days i can wake up and just not have a coffee and i'm fine and today i think as i got up quite early to go for a walk with the girls it was just not one of those days i feel like there is a fog i feel like i'm looking through a really long tunnel it was all in the name of trying to get my skin to be better because it's just not playing my game i think from all of the like stripping back my skincare and the stripping back my diet and taking all of the kind of like junk and lots of artificial things out of it it looks better like the appearance of it is better but the spots that are causing lots of my like sadness aren't really going away i have a new one coming up here today and i have these two new ones which i think might have been more recent since the last not yesterday but the vlog that went live on monday and they are not ideal they are big like hurty ones but it's so weird because now i can see the effect that all of the changes i've made happening on the rest of my skin like the rest of my skin the condition of it looks so good it's like not as congested as it would normally be i have less like little spots but these just just these huge ones <laughs> will not go away so i feel like this is going to be an ongoing longer process but today i thought i'd just like let my skin breathe and have a bit more of a no makeup day but yeah on that note thank you so much for all of the feedback on monday's video because the comments like already i feel like there's like 80 comments and it's like the majority of them are about skin tips and everything like that it's like a mini encyclopedia of like skincare knowledge which is so great at the same time slightly overwhelming because there's so many different opinions people say it's definitely this it's definitely that so it can only definitely be well actually it could definitely be a lot of things it could be a combined mixture there was some really interesting feedback though which obviously might not be applicable to me but it was just so interesting to read through so thank you to everyone who took the time to comment or i've received so many like direct messages on instagram as well and it's so lovely that so many of you care so much but it's, there's a lot of information so i'm still like reading my way through it if that makes sense i don't think i'm going to know for a long time what this is but yeah lots of people were saying you think about it being birth control i thought i said that in the video but just in case definitely it definitely is a factor but i'm basically making my way through all of the things that i can control without having a hugely adverse impact on my life first because me coming off of that pill it will take three months for my body to like regulate and like readjust and if it's not that then i've done that and i'm gonna like put my body into a bit of a freak out for no reason so i'm kind of going from like the lightest possible factor down to like the most serious one that will have the most effect on my body i'm trying to work it in that way but yeah lots of you also suggested makeup i'm gonna have a makeup free day today and trial it i've had a lot of makeup free days recently and unfortunately i don't think it is that also a lot of the makeup products that i use i've been using for a very long time some even during like 2018 when i had the best skin of my life so i'm not 100 percent but it's definitely something that i am going to consider if i find that there is a correlation but yeah if you haven't seen that video i will link it in the info box below you can go and check out <laughs> my little skin diary that i'm keeping but yeah and i hope it helped some of you too just having that chat and like talking about like keeping a diary i do think it's so worth it especially if you need to go and see a doctor and get referred to a specialist which is definitely something that i am going to be doing i also really want to get my hormones tested just to see if there is an imbalance because i think that that is definitely a possibility and someone there was a really in interesting comment on and i was thinking about getting my hormones tested anyway for the various reasons but someone mentioned weight loss and how it can affect your hormone balance in your body and it's definitely there's definitely something that I have gone through. So I think that that is something that I will be looking into quite seriously if I can't get this to clear up by my own like lifestyle. I really wanted it to be a lifestyle issue. I'm gonna carry it on for like a couple of months and then if we get to like September, end of August and nothing is clearing up, then I will be taking further action. But in the meantime, let's try this coffee. Instant coffee, not the same not the same so i think this has quickly become one of my favorite rooms to look at i know obviously i ordered quite a lot of stuff so it wasn't exactly cheap or easy but it's very quickly with just two orders become one of my favorite rooms to kind of just be in i think because i have such 
big open spaces of white walls these pieces have really helped to like warm up this area i know that this is not central and yes it bugs me so much but as you can see with this I've positioned them so that the plug sockets don't bother me because I don't know why I've just got a real thing about, there's a lot of plug sockets in this house, which is amazing. And I love that because there's nothing worse than a property that doesn't have enough, but they don't look cute, especially like the ones that I've got. They're just like a plain white. So I think I will change that maybe over time. We'll see. But yeah, this maybe won't stay just slightly off center forever, but it was just kind of <laughs> making me happy in the meantime, because I just couldn't see two of those little ugly things. Still waiting for my paint to arrive. I really hope it does arrive today. It'll make me really sad if it doesn't. I'll give you a little garden update whilst I've got some time. I can't remember when the last time I showed you this plant was, but it is like outrageous at the moment. It's changed so much since I first got it. If I can, I'll insert a little image of it here from when I first picked it up from the garden center. But look at those <gasps> grapes. I think these are gonna be black grapes, if I remember rightly. I'm so excited. And then my fig tree is doing well. I'm pretty sure these are figs. I think they are anyway. Oh, it makes me so happy. Then we have the lemon tree. I'm so excited. So we have a flower here and there was a flower here <laughs> it's now gone let's hope that grows me a lemon because there was a flower there literally half an hour ago yeah all my hope is on this one here also something really cute i noticed the other day was <laughs> this little kind of plant label in the greenhouse this is the greenhouse kind of up close by the way guys it is in need of tlc i've got you kind of zoomed in slightly but let's zoom out yeah it's in need of some serious tlc i was speaking to mike who does my garden last night and we were <laughs> chatting about this and i was like please get rid of the spiders and the grim creepy crawlies that i know are living in here i was peering in the other day and i noticed this little plant label the guy that lived here before was growing marrows he was growing some real serious stuff don't get too excited i don't think i'll be growing marrows anytime soon i think we're actually going to be able to paint these so i'm very excited about that my paint for the garden gate has arrived i'm very excited about this you know what i'm not so excited about though this is my white paint Mm -hmm. yeah so there's two tubs of paint in here and i don't know if both of them have exploded or just one of them but uh yeah it's not good not good i also now have paint on the floor which is great good thing i don't like this floor very much really glad i decided to open my boxes of paint in here instead of on my lvt because i would have died good today we have one spot one active spot left and the rest are healing the sun is so bright right now i actually am like squinting it might make me cry <laughs> yeah i'm very happy i have no idea what i'm doing right but i'm gonna carry on and keep the skin diary up and just send out good skin vibes into the world but yeah today is wednesday i thought i'd wrap this vlog up i've just got some stuff to shoot today for new in and then i also have got to finish editing literally some stories that i'm doing with iconic that i'm so excited about i like sat down and did a full profesh setup i was like literally so buzzed and i talked for 20 minutes and it's just meant to be Instagram stories. So I have the biggest job ahead of me this afternoon of getting all of that cut down, literally 20 minutes into like two minutes. How the hell am I gonna do that? So yeah, that is gonna be my day today. But yeah, I'm really liking my hair and outfit today. I've got these little braids in just because obviously all of my broken bits can be quite annoying, especially if I wanna go for like wavy hair and have it down. So this is kind of my way that I'm toying with at the moment of keeping it in check. We'll see how it works out. I need to go outside and like wind test this hair. But yeah, I'm liking it, I think it's cute. This is my outfit today. This dress is from Pretty Little Thing. I used to have one of these, but like ribbed and it was really sturdy. This one is literally the most see-through thing in the world. So I actually don't think it's the best option. I really wish I hadn't thrown my red one out because it looked so good because it was like tighter and thicker. So it really like held you in. This is showing the curry I had for dinner last night so badly. So I literally, I'm bloaty right now. So hence the shirt. But yeah, if anyone has any recommendations for really great nude bodycon dresses, I would love to hear your thoughts because I'm not sure this one is the one, but I really wanted to wear this kind of vibe today with like a shirt kind of off the shoulder and the nude dress. I think like the white and nude is really, really cute and will work really nicely in the warmer weather with a hat 
as well. On my lips, I have one of the Giorgio Armani Lip Maestros, I believe these are. I will try and link this in the info box, but the writing on it is literally like, I think I'm making myself go cross-eyed. It's the smallest writing in the world, and I don't even think it says the product name, but it's shade 410. But yeah, I really like it. I've just popped a little bit onto the center of my lips and then like, blotted it in also wearing this mac blush in the shade peaches and i've got a really cute eyeshadow palette on my eyes today let me see if i can show you oh my god this smells so good so i'm wearing the shade she's lit which is the coral shade on the end on this side and then i'm also wearing it's called like bossy and something this kind of brownie one here on the outer corners of my eyes but they're very similar shades like the coral one when you blend it out with my skin tone starts to go very like brownie so when you put the brown on it's just like this really nice neutral but like slightly pinky color it's just like my perfect kind of color that's like my ideal eyeshadow color so the two of those i'm very happy with and i'm gonna wrap this vlog up now because it's probably longer than i should have made this outro because this vlog's already quite long as it is but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog and enjoyed seeing my new things for the house and seeing the kind of direction that i'm going with it now it's definitely something very different to if you saw my initial mood boards before I even got, was it before I got the keys? Or when I just got the keys? It was a very, very different vibe. So yeah, we're going in a different direction, but I feel like it really suits the house and everything about it. So yeah, I'm really excited. And I hope you guys like everything. And if you don't, I like it. <laughs> and that's what matters. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Bye.